Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to this episode of our 1.18 SMP. I'm here in this new area that I have been building over the past few days, and I am in love with this place. It looks a bit different than the time lapses, just because I originally intended to record and talk, but I've been ill and it sounded awful, so I just thought, let's just start over and do some uh, off-screen stuff. And yeah, I've got a few buildings here. Uh, we've got a carpentry building here, which is signified by the wooden totem statue outside. And this building is for storing all my wood, which I have a decent amount of, especially the spruce. Uh, I've got a full shulker box of spruce logs, and I sold a full shulker box of spruce logs to Kieran. And I've also just got a ha another half box of them, so I've had a lot of spruce. I uh, got some dark oak, got all of them. Enough spaces for all the six main types of wood. The new mangrove coming in the next update. Crimson and warped. And then this is just for extra wooden things like ladders and sticks and stuff. And back here, got a little carpentry workshop. This is just for aesthetics. There's no real functionality to this. Got a stone cutter though, so I can cut up uh, my stones in the carpentry area. I really wish there was a sawmill in this game. Feels like there should be. And this is what the building looks like from the other side. And then this door here connects back into here. And then up here it's got a little uh, little uh sleeping area for the carpenter to go and then this is like a little selling place. But uh and then over here we've got the masonry which is still under construction. Got a nice sort of ornate stone floor and nice, really nice roof up here. I, I really, I really like this roof. It kind of came out of nowhere. I just started placing blocks and suddenly just it looked good. And then I've got it. I've gone into the cliff here, and I'm gonna have all the storage of stone types, same as the wood over there. But since there's so much stone in the game, I needed more space, and a building would have just been way too big to store that. So I thought I'd go into the cliff with it. And then here. We've got a little smaller building which has zero functionality, but I might make it into some... I'll, f I'll find some use for it. And it just kind of circles around, and I just kind of want to have a more structural area. Oh, I've got a tree here. Because my idea for this area is that Stalkholm was founded over there in that building. Which is true to how I actually built this place. But it was initially just a farming and living area. Like, there was no actual progress going on. But as the people who lived here worked, they slowly expanded out over here, got animals, got more artisan stuff like honey, and started to progress over to here where they started having actual industry, being like carpentry and stone masonry and then I'll have like tailors and all that other jazz. But I've tried to go for a more modern look over here, so rather than having the wooden buildings of like there, this one's a more structural, got some deep slate starts and I've also gone for a, a mushroom stem wall, which I think looks lovely. Uh, I, I really like the, the look of that and I've mixed in jungle wood because it works well with it. And just, I really like this building here specifically, because it started out, it's one of those ones where I started out just having a triangle. Like, I had a basic A-frame, and then I kept adding, like, another floor, and then I added the back section. And, yeah, it's, it's one of those places that's just, like, naturally progressing quite well. But there's still a lot more work to do uh, in this area. And... I don't know where to go next. I think having the tailor next might be good, because actually one thing I do want to work on is wool. I want to use wool in the builds a bit more, like carpets for this sort of aesthetic here, because I want to use like orange and yellow carpets, but right now my sheep area is lacking. I've got about seven sheep to my name, and they're also all red, so I kind of want to make an automated sheep farm. But I also want to have somewhere where the wool gets transported to. So what I thought is, let's get in the air. Down top of this tree. Oh, okay, there we go. So I've got this area up here, which I might put, I want to put a building there, but a very small one. 
and then underneath in the uh, in this cliff, I think I want to dig a little cave, which goes into an actual sheep shearing section, and then have the building on top transport the wool with like a rail over to uh, this new area, which I need a name for. It's still part of Stockholm, but I'm thinking I want to have like an actual name for this district. But uh, I'll figure that out later. But the railway would come over the top here, probably, and then go into wherever the tailor's gonna be. Like maybe here or up there. I don't know. I'll figure that one out. But also, one design rule I have for this place is that every building needs to have two entrances. So you can walk through them and have a full loop. So this one, you can just kind of go around in circles. And I'm, I'm going to have like an actual main entrance to this area over here. Where it's going to like link up to the side out. And yeah. But yeah, for now, I think what I want to do is move away from this place, head over to sheep place and do some work there. I really want wool. I think the best place to start is with the cave, and I think this little section here is perfect. And I need to make sure that the sheep can't get in, so I'll just put like a terracotta wall there. And then on the inside, I think I just want to have a very... Hmm. Yes, I want to have like a corridor, I think. Very standard sheep farm. I don't really feel like experimenting at all. If I have something on the exterior like this, I want it to look very organic, but anything interior, I don't really care what it looks like. So I just need to have 18? Is that, how many wool types are there? Is it 16 or 18? I've got a hole already here. So I need to, I'll do some measurements and then I'll get back to you. So I have cleared out an area and I've gathered up some resources to actually build out this area. And I've got 16, really? <laughs> I'm underground and it's still raining. I've got 16 pods here. Eight either side to build. I have a sheep in each and I'm just going to do a basic sheep farm which is just place down grass down this entire bit. So I think it's observer down here which goes into redstone there and fences there. So when this block changes it will do a pulse and then shear the sheep that's in this pod. And it's just the same for all of them, I believe. Okay, so both sides of the pods are now in. And I've also put some terracotta back here, because I kind of want to make it look like it's just been dug out from the cave and, like, just segments left out. But back here, I'm going to need to connect up these to a central uh, thingy bob. And then what I'm going to do here is get a comparator, because I am apparently... Hello. The jelly here. Oh, the creeper here too! <laughs> ah! Ugh. I should really fill that up there, but I'm lazy. Uh, okay. I need to go get some... Actually, I can just make some. That into that, 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 that. So now whenever an item comes through here, should turn off the bill. Yeah, there we go. Okay, great. And just do another one of them next to it. Okay, I've got plenty of sheep here now, so time to bring them in. Come on. <clears throat> Just do a few at a time. You can come too, cow, I guess. Uh, not think about how I was going to get them in. Get some dirt. I'll come along and dye them. Like... <laughs> he appears to have... Uh... Okay. Gone in. Push your friend in. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, and then... Did you... Do in nice. And just need to <laughs> do that uh thirteen more times. And then I'll dye them all to like a nice gradient. Okay, 
I have now got myself some uh, dyes, all one of each colour, and I've set up in a gradient, so I'm just going to go through each of the sheep, dye them to the colour, and that's... Hmm. Uh, get rid of one of you. I killed the wrong one. Okay, that needs to be black. I'll come back to that later. Duh. Duh. Great. Now I just need to go get some black dye, which I'm sure I have some over here. There it is, black dye. <laughs> Am I just farming zombies now? What is this? Was this one? There we go. So now I just need to put in all the shears, and I think that's it done. Uh, well, technically it's done. I need to actually make it look nice. So I've got a bunch of iron here. Uh, I could probably do maths to get it perfect, so... Let's think. 9 times 2, 18. 18 times by 16? 18 times 16? I don't know what 18 times 16 is. 288. I need 288 iron to fill every dispenser, and I may as well do that. I need four and a half stacks. Thank God for calculate. Hello. Okay. Perfect. I wonder how many shears I have crafted. Let's check. Statistics. Two I've cr I've crafted 206 shears? That's too many shears. Which is 162 of them in here. Which means before this, I have crafted... I've crafted 44 pairs of shears. Why? Why do I, why do I make that many shears? That's 88 iron. More than a stack of iron spent on shears. <laughs> Wow, okay, that's uh, an upsetting statistic, because it's not that I break shears, I've never, I don't think, I quickly go back into here, look for shears again. I want to see how many times have I broken, I've only broken 14, <laughs> so I've, I've broken 14 shears out of 44. So there's 30, sh ah, <laughs> there's 30 pairs of shears just somewhere around my base. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, thirty shears. Oh, I just when I when I can't find my shears, I just make a new set. I don't bother looking for them. But I mean, they have thirty shears just scattered around. Oh no. Okay. What well, was that upsetting realization? I was gonna work on the aesthetics of this place, and then uh, work on the actual output. And I'll see how. Actually, before I do that. Let's make another set of shears, just because I can, and I'm going to shear all of the sheep to make sure that they eat the grass. I don't know if that actually is a necessary step, but I don't... I'd like just to be f f running while I'm here. And it's done! Uh, well, mostly. Uh, not a big fan of the path, but... I am lazy and don't feel like doing much more, but there's quite a straight line here, so I might do that, break it up a bit. But, it's been running while I've been working here, and I've got this much wool, as well as that, and then some back there I can't reach. Next step is up, uh, which is going to be a building I have yet to design. With this done now, uh, I should probably move on to working at the district to build up my tailor. But before I do that, something more pressing has come up. Kieran has committed a great crime against me. Kieran stole my lamp. There, were, there was a lamp here. I've got the shade still, but I'm missing the actual... The, the base of it. I had the dragon egg and it was a lamp, and he stole it. I, I let him, I, I, out of the charity of my own heart, he asked for some eggs to get chickens. So I thought, okay, I'll leave you some chicken eggs in here. Uh, there's like three of them, you know, very generous offer. And he said, oh, if I'm going to take eggs here, I'll take this one too. You can't get chickens out of that one. So he has decided, let's play a little scavenger hunt. And he's, he's hidden it somewhere in his base. And I need to find it. I need my lamp back. He said he hid it somewhere in his base, but he has two bases. Uh, I don't know which one he's talking about. So I'm going to go to uh, 
his small base first, and then head to his bigger one. My first thought was on top of these rafters here, but no. Can't hide anything there. I'm assuming he's headed it he's not heading it like out in the open. And it shouldn't be in any chests. Well, that was easy. Knew it, I I I I have oh I didn't bring anything to bait the egg. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back with a vengeance. Uh, luckily, I own a redstone shop, so easy enough. To... Okay. But the egg is now mine. I realize now I could have just, uh, I could have just broken the, I could have just punched the egg and then just dropped it somewhere else. Oh well, I have the egg now. It's mine, and I can do whatever I want with it. My lamp has returned to me. Look at this. Yeah. And I put it down again. Hello, dogs. Oop. So now I'm going to try and find myself a nice hiding place for this to make sure no one steals my lamp again. The coal is threatening to burn it, so I'm not sure if she wants to stop us from playing this game or if she's just hungry. But I can't let her have the egg. I'm not going to show where I place it, otherwise I would kind of defeat the point. Especially since I'm the only person recording this server, I can't. <laughs> that would really put me at a disadvantage if I had to record where I put it. <laughs> the egg has officially been hidden, so next uh, on the agenda is making my tailor. I think I have. Ah, I'm on fire. Ah. So I have decided what my tailor is going to look like in a test world. It's a bit of a weird design. Uh, I need to have 16 chests inside here. And I also want them to all be sorted, so that instantly adds a lot of like bulk to the place. So I think I'm gonna go down a bit, have it like a basement almost. You'll see what I'm what I'm planning. But uh, yeah, I didn't record the time lapse properly. I accidentally paused it, and only got twelve minutes of it. So I guess no time lapse then. Looks pretty good. From uh, this side. The other side is uh, non-existent, and that's because I don't know what I need to do for this side yet until I do the interior. And I just kind of feel like I want to do the interior now. But my plan for the interior is to use blocks I don't have. I can't remember how deep I need to dig, but it's decently deep. So I think it's going to make a bigger hole than I need. And fill it in from there but it's kind of hard to get an idea of what it's gonna look like but it's actually quite a big interior even if I didn't dig down this is quite thin here because there's gonna be a wall there but then like here it's quite hefty but this is actually gonna be a different building it's all sorts of stuff but I'm gonna quickly dig down get a new but I'm gonna quickly dig down get myself a big hole and then go from there this hole's a lot bigger than I expected it to be uh, so the actual room is going to be this bit here, like from that pillar to that dirt wall. And then back here is going to be where the item sorters hide. And then the barrels will be along there. So while it is a big hole here, you won't actually see this. It should be covered up. I just wanted to open it up for the sake of my sanity. And I've got a friend down there too. Um, But one thing I didn't actually consider was... Oh, I didn't even realise when I was designing this. Because I designed it in the creative world, which is flat. So I had the impression it would just be a hole. But then in this, it's actually on a slight slant. It's coming down here. So I was thinking maybe I have two entrances to this building. One being there at the top of the balcony. And then one down here at like a street level. I think that might be interesting, but I'll have to design the room first, and then this building will be janky as hell trying to get that down there, but I think that could be quite cool. But uh, yeah, so from this side, when you enter in, you just enter up onto a nice balcony here. They'll have like maybe a seating area and just a coat rack, make it all fancy like, and then you look down above at the tailors and go down here, and then you can get all the wool here. And then maybe have something else over here, or I don't know. I'll figure something out, but 
I'm liking uh, how this is coming out. So I think I may as well just do all of the redstone -y stuff down here first, get it out the way, and then connect up the rail later when I can be bothered. Because uh, I do not feel like doing that right now. But uh, yeah, let's make, let's do this bit down here. So the uh, side wall is now in. Uh, all the barrels are in place. All the hoppers and stuff are in place. And it's gonna, it's got enough stuff to store one of each wool. One of each wool. <laughs> it's not very good storage, but stores one of each wool. I am struggling with clips right now. Yes, I've got enough to store each of the wool types uh, in the top two barrels, and then the bottom barrel doesn't have a hopper going to it because I want that to be manually sorted. Because I uh, like, say this is the white wool chest. This will store like the white carpets and stuff. So you got like carpets, uh, banners, and beds which uh, sounds like the sequel to Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. And now that I've done this, I need to do something else. Uh, I think I need to, I need to get some water. Like, uh, cause I'm going to have, to, I was originally going to do a minecart going around here, but that just doesn't work. I wanted to use exclusively minecarts on my base, but for sorting systems, it just, it's so slow with a minecart. So I'm instead doing a, uh, doing a uh, water. But I need some packed ice and also some soul sand. I do not know where to get packed. Actually, Nicole's base has packed ice, but I don't know if she would like me just uh, <laughs> going to a base and just mining her uh, icebergs. So I'll see if I've got any of that on me. If not, uh, don't tell Nicole. Don't tell Nicole, please. I'm scared of her. She will break my thumbs. The water is in. Yay! So now it should just do a loop. Uh, I'll have to get in a dispenser here at some point as well, because I need some way for the the uh, items to actually get into the into the tube. But uh, I'll do that once I have connected up the other thing. God, I'm my words today are just lacking all of a sudden. But this is a lot bigger project than I thought it was going to be. I've over, I've bitten off more than I can chew, and I, uh, I'm still gonna keep working on it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. I think I'll continue working on this in the next episode, though, because I've done a lot uh, in this episode, and I kind of want to get it out now. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I done a lot, uh, lost some time lapses, but I had fun. I've made some cool stuff. I am. Um, excited to finish this. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!